Imagine all the water on Earth fitting into just one gallon. In this tiny model, fresh water would barely fill a third of a cup, and the amount we can easily use? Just two tablespoons. That's our global water crisis in a nutshell. Now let's talk about where this water is stored. The vast majority, about 97%, is in our oceans. Salty and vast, these waters are too saline for drinking, farming, or most industrial uses without costly desalination. On the other hand, ice caps and glaciers hold the lion's share of fresh water. But there's a catch. They are mostly tucked away in remote areas like Antarctica and Greenland, far from where most of us live and need it. So what's accessible? Shallow groundwater is our hero here, being the largest reservoir of usable fresh water. Even though it's under our feet, this source is not infinite and requires sustainable management. Rivers and lakes might be the stars of our water use story, but they are just a drop in the bucket, holding only a tiny fraction of the world's total water. This makes every drop in these water bodies extremely valuable. The water cycle, powered by the sun and gravity, is nature's way of distributing water across these reservoirs. Water evaporates, forms clouds, and returns as rain or snow, continually moving from one place to another. Evaporation acts like a natural distillery, removing salts and leaving behind nearly pure water. However, once this water hits the ground, it picks up minerals and salts from rocks and soil, altering its purity. Understanding the journey of water and its distribution is crucial for us, especially as future environmental scientists. By grasping these dynamics, we can better manage and conserve this indispensable resource amidst global changes.